In this video, we are building a mood tracker unlike any you've seen before, where we can literally use the data to make changes in our life. The mood tracker takes 30 seconds to fill out, only a few minutes to build, and can completely change your life. Let's get into the video. Subscribe if you want to be a motion nerd. So, normally in my videos, we start with forward slash calendar. In today's video, we are not doing that. We are going to be using Notion's new feature, Forms. Now, if you haven't used this before, it is an incredibly powerful feature. So you're just going to do slash forms on a new page and we'll click forms here. This is going to be your mood tracker and it's going to be a simple form which you will bookmark on your browser. So this mood tracker here is going to be a form that you share for yourself. Now we need to enter some questions here and instead of just doing like, how do you feel today? And something like good, not good or okay, that's not actually very useful to you. What we want to do here is have more questions that are more specific about your day so we can actually go through the data here to really understand the things that are making you unhappy. So instead of doing it this way, how do you feel today? We are actually going to be working with numbers. So we're going to rephrase this to your mood rating and we're going to click on these three dots here. And instead of you answering the question, we are going to be using numbers, how exciting. So this here is going to be a number property and you're simply going to answer this between one and 10. 10 being the most happy, one being the least happy. And I'll show you what we're going to do with this data. Then we're going to do a multiple choice. And what we want to know here is your main activities today. So here you can add your options. And of course, this is going to look different for everyone, whatever the main stuff you do that day. And then once you've written all of the activities that you do on a consistent basis, we're going to click on these three dots here and we're going to do duplicate question. And this here will be your secondary activity today. So what we wanna understand here is where did the majority of your time go? Most likely work or university or something like that. And then your secondary activity. So you might change work to side hustle or maybe your part-time job or something like that. We want to understand where your time is going. Knowing the mood is useful, I guess, but we really wanna have concrete data that's connected to your mood rating. The next question here is not mood, but it is actually your stress levels. So stress levels today. And we'll do that between one and 10 once again. Now the next one here will differ for everyone, but what you could do is start adding check boxes with, have you done a certain activity today? Did I get eight hours of sleep? Or did I get outside today? Or whatever a common bottleneck is for you. Exercise, sleep, getting outside, eating healthy, seeing friends, whatever you struggle with. And now lastly, what we're going to do is click on the plus and you're going to do the date. So we have the mood rating, we have the main activity today, the secondary activity, stress levels, and then any bottleneck questions that you want to add here. Obviously, this will be very different for everyone. Now, if you haven't used Notion Forms before, if you want to simply move one of these, you can just drag it like this and we can drag it up here. So it goes mood rating, stress levels, and then main activity, secondary activity. Or maybe you first want to say what's the main activity and secondary activity and then the mood rating and stress levels. It's really up to you and what you believe would be the most efficient way of answering these questions. Now what you're going to do is simply share form. You are going to copy this link here and open up that link. So here is my mood tracker now. And you want to bookmark this page so you can answer this every single day, ideally at the end of the day. Now what you're going to do is go through here and answer these questions. So let's say this is a one, this was a one, I was working, then I worked on my side hustle. I didn't get eight hours of sleep. I didn't go outside and today's date, here we go and then hit submit. So now you have a 30 second mood tracker. Now the next part here, which is absolutely crucial is the responses. So I'm going to click up here and make this full width. Here you can see that submission here. So what we're going to do is just reorganize this so it's easier to read. So we have the date and then by default, you also have the submission time. If you are going to be consistent with this, because we have the submission time, you don't need to have the date property. But if you might struggle with doing this consistently and doing it every single night, then maybe it's useful to have the date property so you can fill out yesterday's answers, for example. Now, respondent here, we don't need to see that. It's only you answering this. Then we have the mood rating new submission. I'm just going to make that small the date property. So let's say you are going to be consistent with it. Then we'll just move the submission time here to the end. I want to see the mood rating, then the stress, then did I get eight hours of sleep and did I go outside? So here is my data. Now what you want to do is go through this when you have a bunch of submissions. So I'll just add a bunch of fake ones. And what we're going to do here is use this data to literally understand how we can improve your mood. How can we fix this? So what I'm going to do here is start looking at what these things have in common. So the low mood ratings, we have one, one, three, one, two, one, four, and then five and eight. So these here have higher mood ratings than the rest of the week. So what do we have in common here? Well, we're working on a hobby and hanging with friends that day. 
Okay, so I'm not working that day. That's good to know. And my stress levels are pretty low. We have a four and a two. So maybe it's also that I like doing a side hustle because that's bringing down the stress here. But I can't see here where I'm doing a side hustle on this day. I have a stress level of nine, which isn't very good. So what's my mood tracker telling me? Well, maybe if I spend the whole day working like I'm doing here, where I worked and then after that I did the side hustle, I have a low mood rating and then I have a very high stress level. So that's not very good. And I didn't get my eight hours of sleep the night before and I didn't get outside. So maybe that is a big issue here. I can see here that the main activity was working on a hobby, which sounds like a great day, but the mood was only five, it really should be higher. And I can see the stress level here is weirdly high. So maybe it's this doom scrolling as a secondary activity that is holding me back. So what you want to do is use your mood tracker for maybe a week or even a month and then dive into your data to really understand what's the thing holding your mood back. I hope you found this useful. If you want to see my 80-20 journaling technique, then click on this video here. It's built into my headquarters second brain template and lets you journal based off the tasks that you've completed that week. Click on that video there to check it out and thank you so much for watching.